Welcome to the webinar for Open Dental Highlights version 22.4. The first highlight we will go over is for use in the appointment module. This is the ability to associate blockout types to appointment types. You do need to set up blockout types in your system under setup and definition and blockout types. Put them on your schedule where you want to use those blockout types and also create the appointment types under setup appointments, and appointment types. Once you've done that, the system will look similar to mine. Under Setup Appointment Types, you can now associate a specific blockout type to an appointment type. Double-click into your appointment type, and down in the bottom left-hand corner, you can now associate which blockout this specific appointment type should be scheduled over. This will restrict those specific appointment types to this blockout type or you'll need to use an area of your appointment scheduling that is not covered by a specific blockout type. We'll click OK, and I'll go into my other options as well. Let me show you how this will work. We'll make an appointment for our patient, choose an appointment type, and Open Dental will create the appointment based off of the features we've set up for that appointment type. Once we click OK and it's on the pin board, you can see that it gives us the color for that specific appointment type. I'll go ahead and click and drag that onto my screen over the top of a blockout that is not for that specific appointment type. Open Dental is letting me know that this appointment overlaps an existing blockout, and when I click OK, will not place that appointment. Let's go ahead and schedule it over the top of a blockout type that it's currently linked to. Open Dental does not give any issues because the blockout type is linked to that specific appointment type. Next is the security feature for the appointment module. This is under setup and down to security. We'll go into a user group and the specific user group that we want this permission to affect. We'll scroll down to the appointment section here under the appointments module. For this specific user group, you'll now have the ability to check or uncheck for appointment delete. If the box is checked, this specific user group will be allowed to delete appointments that have been scheduled. With it unchecked, this user group will no longer be allowed to delete appointments. Let's show you how this will work. I'll go ahead and close out and log into a user that's under that user group. If I try to delete the appointment for this patient, I'll be told that I'm not authorized. A user with the security admin permission must grant me access for the appointment delete permission. Another security feature added to this version is the ability to track ERA actions in the audit trail. Let's go under Tools and Audit Trail. I'm going to look at all patients, and I'm going to specifically look at the INTS Pay Create to be able to show you an example. I can now see here that I have EOBs that have been entered via the ERA window. This is the ERA Claim Payment Received and showing me what has been posted to the ERAs and to whom. Some of the new insurance related features include when trying to send claims from a workstation that does not have the path required for the clearinghouse setup, Open Dental will now give you a pop-up to help create the claim export path. Let's go ahead and complete that appointment for today and we'll send a claim out. Clicking on the Send button, Open Dental is letting me know that I don't actually have the export path for this claim to go to my clearinghouse. In the past, this window would have told me what the issue was, but I would have needed to have exited the claim and gone into the clearinghouse setup section. Now Open Dental will allow you to attempt to create that pathway from here. We'll say yes, and Open Dental has now created the folder for me to be able to send this off to my clearinghouse. I do have other issues in my system as my username and password is not entered, so I still will need to go to my clearinghouse setup to fix those. 
if your office uses Dental Exchange, also known as Claim Connect, as a default clearinghouse. A new feature is that your payer ID list will now be updated automatically once a week using the Open Dental service. Our next feature is inside the chart module. Within the chart module, in your ortho tab, you'll now be able to hide ortho hardware when the patient completes their orthodontic treatment instead of needing to delete the hardware. I'll go ahead and show you what, how this works. I'm gonna highlight our elastics and we'll just hide them. You can also grab large chunks by clicking and dragging and using the hide option. If you need to bring anything back, simply highlight and unhide. If you're using sheets in Open Dental for patient forms, consent forms, referral letters, and patient letters, you now have new grids for sheets. You can generate a sheet to have procedures no fee or procedures with a fee. These grids will allow you to select procedures from the patient that have been referred out, treatment planned, or completed. Let me show you how this will work. We'll start under setup and down to sheets. I'll go into the custom side as I've started customizing the referral letter in the system. We'll double click. And I can go ahead and add in a grid. Let me show you from the beginning. You can move areas up and down in the system by highlighting them and moving them with your arrow keys. In this case, I'm going to move the letter body text up just a little. Over on the right, we now have the grid option that's going to give you a couple of other options. Procs with fee and procs with no fee. Since this procedure is being referred out, I'm going to refer it out with no fee showing. So it just shows the office I'm referring to which procedures I'm referring there. We'll click OK and OK again. And we'll go ahead and move that grid down onto the sheet where we want it located. Let's click OK and show you an example of this. I've referred my patient out to the specific provider, and this can be done either over on the referred section by double clicking and refer to, or inside of a specific procedure code and attaching the referral source to the procedure codes. Now that I have that referral attached, I can use the drop down next to my litter option, referring out to Brad Bateman and selecting the referral letter from the list. If you have multiple referral letter options, those will be viewable as well. We'll click OK. And now I can see the list of procedures that have been completed in the past or ones that have also been referred out. Let's go ahead and attach what I'm referring to Dr. Bateman and click OK. You can see how those have a $0 fee as well if you're trying to figure out which procedures are referred out. We'll click OK and you can see the procedures are now listed inside of the sheet. Clicking OK will add any documentation to your patient's progress note section for easy to view again later by just double clicking. If your office is using tasks to keep track of tasks needing to be done or for communication about your patient, the task search feature has been enhanced. Within the task search window, by clicking on the search button, you can exclude certain words. We'll refresh to show the whole list of tasks available. If I want to remove any tasks that don't have the word narrative in them, so that I'm just seeing tasks that need to be done that aren't necessarily waiting on doctor to respond, I can type in the word and hit refresh to update my list. You can also right click on a task to navigate to the patient attached to the task or open the reference task number. As an example, I've sent a message to Sarah about the specific patient, number eight, and which task num she can look at to be able to see that I've sent it. In this case, I'm referring Sarah to the task that's been sent to Dr. Baxter. You can see how it has task num two 
And if I double click to open Dr. Baster's task, I can actually see the task num in the lower right hand corner. I can also see the patient that I'm referring to that's linked to this specific task as well. Because I've indicated the task number or the patient number, I also have both options when I right click on the task. We'll go ahead and click on our task num two, and you'll see that it's opened up the task number that I've sent to Dr. Bas Baxter to verify that the task has actually been sent. If your office is using the texting feature to send messages to your patient via text, you will now see that there includes a delivery status, allowing your practice to verify that the messages are reaching the patient. And if your office is using our WebSchedge feature, WebSched users can now track incoming clicks by unique link. If your practice is sending out an online scheduling campaign, track success by asking your IT or web designer to enable the UTM tracking on each unique link on your website. Thank you for joining us for this version's feature highlights video. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.